is Logan here in downtown Lone Oak in the historic district where Gigi and Grumpy are bringing together an American eatery as they revitalize an older building. The Grumpy Rabbit is going to be fantastic and Chef James is going to cook up some food that you'll find on the menu. It'll be worth checking out. I'm Tamara Murray, the executive sous chef with the Grumpy Rabbit, and this is my pod buddy and, and the executive chef, James Hale. We're really excited to be here out at the market, and uh, today we're going to show you uh, one of our items at the restaurant. It's going to be a brand new restaurant, hopefully open about the middle of next month. We're going to do our charcuterie board today, which is pretty traditional in restaurants everywhere, but we hope ours is a little different, a little unique to Arkansas. It's going to have four different elements on it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a little onion confit going over here that Tamara's going to do. It's going to be a toasted, a quick toasted onion, toasted fennel onion confit. And uh, it's going to go with some sausage that we're going to do. We're going to do a different type of grilled sausage on our board every day. We're also going to do some thick cut uh, petty jean bologna on our charcuterie board, which I'm really excited about with a uh, honey mustard that we make with uh, Guinness beer. Uh, you can use any kind of dark beer. We'll walk you through that. So the first thing Tamara's gonna do over here is uh, get, this, get this fennel going. And we're gonna have a savory cheesecake on our board all the time. Today we're doing a goat cheese cheesecake. Uh, other times we might do a blue, different kinds of chutneys, different kind of accompaniments with it. Today we did a tomato chutney. We'll show you that. We're gonna do an egg salad. We're going to do uh, some bread, pickled items, and that's it. So the first thing we're going to do over here is we've got the, the fennel toasting. As soon as that gets a little crunchy there on that fennel, it's getting close. Mm -hmm. See the little bubbles we're going to add to onions. There you go. So confit, I don't know, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a funny term. It means cooked in fat. Usually it takes a little while. This is a real quick way to do this. But basically we're just caramelizing some onions. We're going to get a little color on there. She's going to add a little sugar. We are going to add just a touch of bacon fat to this. There you go. Mm -hmm. So the Grumpy Rabbit is going to be in Lone Oak, Arkansas. And uh, it's going to be right on 70. It's in a historic old building. And it's going to be a really awesome restaurant. We look forward to seeing everybody. Salt and pepper? Uh, give it a little sugar first. We're going to give it, put a little, add a little sugar to that. And that's really going to get our color going on it. While Tamara's working on this, I can start the egg salad that we do. And it's uh, your pretty basic standard egg salad. Like, but with lots of bacon though, right? Yeah, with bacon. Yeah, we're adding bacon to it like, like grandma would make. But we got our boiled eggs already cut up, mashed up here. I'm gonna do a little mayonnaise. This is uh, Duke's. That's my favorite, Duke's and Blue Plate. My two mayonnaise I like to use. The bacon, chopped and diced. Got our mayonnaise, bacon, eggs, little French's mustard. Pickle relish. Diced onion. And Tamara, you want to give me some salt and pepper in here? You're going to throw some bacon grease in there for good measure, yes. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. We got our bacon grease here. And we're going to do a little parsley. Just mix that up. I think I'll take that bowl just for myself. <laughs> right. Yeah, bacon egg salad is good. A little paprika. And a little more parsley. And that'll just sit on our board right there. All right. Get more and more color on this our uh, onions there. Starting to look good. Is that what we're looking for? Cut down a little bit more. Pretty good. A little more salt. Mm -hmm. Out here we, on the grill, we've got some uh, petty jean bologna going and some uh, rabbit sausage that we got from a farm in New York. We're gonna get sausage uh, from all over, but if any of you farmers in Arkansas wanna start 
making some rabbits. <laughs> Send them our way. All right. So I'll go grab that. Mm -hmm. All right. Here comes our sausage for the board. It's our rabbit sausage. I'm going to set that here. And this is our big chunk of uh, Arkansas's Petty Jean bologna that we threw on the grill. I'm going to set our sausage there. Tamara's going to bring the confit that goes with the uh, sausage. So we're just going to throw this on top of the sausage. And James, what's going on the bologna again? The bologna is going to be a honey mustard that we're going to make with dark beer. We use Guinness this time, but any good dark beer will work. The beer gives it a little bit of bitterness. That's good with that bologna. And then you got your honey, sweet, and the mustard. But this is that right here. And we're just going to pour that directly on that grilled bologna. And then the last thing we'll do on our board at the uh, Grumpy Rabbit is we're going to do some pickles. We'll have different kind of pickles, maybe pickled okra, whatever we can get. Uh, we got some good carrots from the market, tri-colored carrots that we uh, did a quick pickle on yesterday. Our pickle's pretty, pretty straightforward. Water vinegar, pickling spice, anise, hibiscus, dried hibiscus flour, peppercorns, your standard pickle. And then these, we'll just kind of give in there. And then, hey, Tamara, before we uh, finish all that up, I'd like you to talk about your cheesecakes here. Yeah. Most charcuterie boards always do like uh, different kinds of cheeses. We wanted to do something a little different. So Tamara over here, who is going to do most of our baking and that kind of stuff, is going to do a savory cheesecake for all of our boards. So like today, we're going to do a goat cheese with onion. She's got a cornbread crust she's doing on there. It might be a blue cheese cheesecake one day, but that's how we're going to that's going to be the cheese part of our charcuterie board all the time is a uh, savory cheesecake. Hey, thanks for describing it for mm -hmm. me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like James said, we've got, today we have a goat cheese cheesecake, which I sauteed some onions and peppers to go in it with some cumin, paprika, and some other spices. And then we made a jalapeno cornbread crust for it, put that on the bottom, and we're going to top it with this tomato chutney. And like James said, we'll do different specials, but this tomato chutney on here is really good. And then you can just take your spoon, mm -hmm. fork and knife that's on the board, and cut you a slice off, pair it with any of this meat. And we have some crostini that we'll have on the board. It's going to be good stuff. We're looking forward to getting the kitchen finished and getting to work, putting together the rest of our menu and opening the restaurant and seeing people from all over central Arkansas coming out to the Grumpy Rabbit moment. Yeah.